Good morning, everybody. It is a very, very gloomy Wednesday morning right now. I actually got out of the apartment early today because I wanted to come grab coffee and do some grocery shopping before I jumped into some work stuff. Today isn't so much gonna be a solo day date. I am gonna be going out and about today. It's more so of like an errand day, a catch up day. I have some things I wanna chit chat about with you guys today, but I figured I'd still vlog it because um, I really have been liking vlogging lately. I am planning a proper solo day date where I'm gonna like take myself out to lunch, take myself out to do something, maybe at the end of this week or early next week, but today is kind of just errand Day and I did have some things I wanted to chat about. Sorry if the lighting is kind of off. It's a really, really gloomy day here in LA, which is not common at all, especially in mid-May. Normally it's like pfft, summer weather, but the past week it has been pretty gloomy, pretty overcast, very cloudy. I think there are some wildfires going on in the area, which I feel like seems to be a more and more common thing. And I am not a fan. It breaks my heart for anybody who's actually being like directly affected by the fires having to evacuate and stuff it's just what a scary time I went ahead and picked up coffee at one of my favorite little coffee shops here in LA it's actually in Burbank it's called the ugly mug coffee house if you guys are in the valley or in the Burbank area you guys got to check out this coffee place I love it I have a stamp card at this place I'm here at least once a week I just love their coffee their lattes I love lattes and general but their lattes are very 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 sweet so if you guys are looking for like you know a sugar rush you'll get it with the ugly mug but I always ask for a half sweet latte my current go-to order is their vanilla nut latte which is vanilla powder and hazelnut syrup in a latte I normally get the medium size I get it extra hot three shots of espresso and half sweet because I'm just that kind of an LA bish you know like I, I have to make the most complicated coffee order but I get normal milk I feel like I'm the only person in all of LA that doesn't get almond milk or oat milk or some kind of dairy substitute I just think normal milk and coffee. It's just the best. I love it. Also very risque of me to wear a white hoodie when I came to get, you know, brown staining coffee, but that's, that's me, you know? I like living life on the edge. To-do list for today. I have to make a grocery list, go grocery shopping, go home, answer emails, do yoga, work some more, pick up a jumpsuit. I actually dropped off at the tailor last week. They're just tailoring like a little buttonhole for me. And then probably go to the gym and then I'm meeting up with someone later tonight. I think we're gonna go take a walk or something. So it's a little bit of a packed day, especially Especially considering it's already nine o'clock I definitely have some work I need to get done and all those other little random errands and things but I'm gonna take you guys along with me and like I said I have some things to chit chat about so let's go ahead and well finish my coffee and make my grocery list and go grocery shopping so you know let's go ahead and do that okay my hair is a hot mess right now this is uh this is just hair that I slept on that I didn't comb out in the morning so you know here we are I did my grocery shopping I completely forgot to get clips of the grocery store but I figured you guys probably know what a grocery store looks like so I'm not too heartbroken over that but um, I wanted to have a quick chat with you guys about something that I actually did to my face I got Botox for the first time last week it's something I wanted to have a chat with you guys about because it's something that I think is important to talk about, especially because primarily my channel is beauty related, makeup related. It's very, very much about the physical, you know what I mean? And I want to always be upfront and honest with you guys. If I do anything that can cause physical changes, that isn't just, you know, a makeup or a lighting trick or a filter or something like that. If you guys don't know what Botox is, it's an injection that you get in your face and as far as I understand it basically kind of numbs your muscles a bit so your muscles don't move around as much it can help with wrinkles expression lines that kind of thing I primarily wanted it for some of my expression lines if you guys have been following my channel for a while or if you happen to know me in real life you probably know that I'm a very very expressive speaker I'm just an expressive person in general when I talk I talk with my hands I talk with my whole face. I just, 
I'm expressive. You'll know exactly what I'm feeling. If I'm happy, if I'm sad, if I'm upset, if I'm whatever, you'll know. So over the years of Ishani being an expressive speaker, I started developing really prominent expression lines in my face, particularly my forehead. So I did get Botox just in my forehead. I'll, you know, explain exactly what I did, how I came to that conclusion. About two years ago, I started realizing that I was developing lines in my forehead. And they weren't lines that were just there when I would move my eyebrows, but they were just there all the time. There was one line in particular right here. So when I move my eyebrows in, it develops these two little, what do you call them? Like up and down parallel lines right here. They were fairly small. There was one here on this side that happened to be a little bit more prominent than this side. And honestly, it never really bothered me. Actually, if you go back in a couple of my videos a couple years ago when I did foundation wear test videos, you guys will see when I zoom in on my face, you can notice those expression lines. They didn't bother me too much because they were fairly small, but it was something that I was kind of aware of. And the reason they started bothering me a little bit more is throughout the years, by years I mean like two or so years that I've noticed them, they got deeper and when I would wear face product like a skin tint, a foundation, even powder, it would sink into those lines naturally. I mean an expression line is like a wrinkle, it's like a little crater. So of course when you put foundation over it, it's going to throughout the day sink into that crease. At that point, I knew that I would probably get Botox at some point in my future. But like I said, those little lines didn't bother me that badly. It wasn't until about a few months ago, I realized that I got another expression line all the way across the top of my forehead. I mean, when my forehead moved up, there was this just insanely prominent line. It almost looked like, if you guys know Post Malone, you know how he has that like barbed wire tattoo across his forehead? That was Ishani's expression line. It was a lot. Um, and again, I have no issues with obviously people that have lines, even when I had lines. Like it's not, it, it's a part of aging, it's natural. But that line was so, prominent and it was all the way across my forehead that whenever I blended foundation up over that area throughout the day you guys that foundation would just sink into that line so then I basically had a line of foundation here and two lines of foundation here and that's when it started bothering me and I realized you know what if there's something that I can do to fix this or just to make myself feel a little bit more confident with the area, I'm gonna do it. And Botox seemed like the best idea. Botox is not permanent, it's not a filler. It wears off after a couple months, so if you want to maintain the results, you have to keep going back every like three to four months. It's not super expensive, it's a relatively affordable like cosmetic injection. I'm here in LA, we have a ton of med spas here in LA, so it's very, very easy to find Botox. And I am 28, about to turn 29, so I figured this is, you know, the right time to do it. Another thing with Botox, if you guys don't know, is when you get it, the earlier you get it, the more preventative it is. Because what happens, especially with expression lines, is if those lines are there and, you know, you keep obviously moving your face around, over time those expression lines get deeper and deeper. And while Botox doesn't fix the line, you know, it comes back after a couple months, the deeper your line is originally prior to getting Botox, the more Botox you're going to need to kind of fix it. So where my expression lines were prior to getting Botox, when I get Botox and then when the Botox wears off and if I continue getting Botox to kind of just smooth that area, those expression lines just, they won't get worse over time, if that makes sense. So today is Wednesday, May 19th. I actually got my Botox done last Tuesday. So it's been just over a week now. They say it takes about three to five days for it to kick in, about two weeks to see full results. But to be honest, I feel like I'm seeing full results right now. I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out. I can still like move my eyebrows, but let me show you guys. I can move my eyebrows up and down. You see, so there's some expression, but when I try to like 
squint them. This is the motion I normally do to like get these two lines here and it's like my muscles don't really move that way as much anymore. And then even when I lift my brows, that's when you would see this huge line across my forehead and that's not there either. And I went in, told the doctor this was my first time getting Botox. I wanted it to be really conservative. I'd rather get less Botox the first time and then slowly up the amount I need versus just going above and beyond, you know, in the first time and just being like, whoa, that is, that is way too much. And the doctor totally agreed. He did a very, very conservative dose. He only did it in the lines that I requested. I didn't get it anywhere else on my face. I know people get it generally in like their smile lines or maybe like the sides of their eyes for their crow's feet. I did not get it anywhere besides just my forehead. That's all that was bothering me at the time. That's all I wanted to try. And this was just me just testing it. I've never done any type of cosmetic injection or anything before and I have to say I'm really really happy with it. I'm really glad I did it because now when I put foundation on I mean it is like smooth. Smooth sailing, smooth canvas, no lines. I love it. I've always been in the camp of it's your body, it's your face, as long as you're not hurting other people, do whatever the heck you want. I don't care. I don't care what other people do with their face or their body or if they get cosmetic injections or procedures. The only thing that does bother me with that is when people lie about it. I hate when people get a cosmetic procedure and don't disclose it, especially people who get things like liposuction or something and then start promoting like tummy teas like those stupid detox teas and that's how they claim that they got their like perfect figure and it's like no girl you got liposuction I know you got liposuction you know you got liposuction and there's nothing wrong with getting liposuction but don't get a cosmetic procedure and then claim it to be something else that would be like me getting Botox in my forehead and then coming on here and telling you guys guys I found the best moisturizer that literally erases your lines no I didn't I found no moisturizer that erases your lines. That's why I got Botox. And while we're on the topic of cosmetic procedures, I do want to once again let you guys know that if and when I get anything else done to physically change my body, while I have no plans to do absolutely anything to any other part of my body at this point, I will let you guys know. Um, I still, even after I thought I squashed the rumors, I'm still getting consistent comments and DMs asking me if I got a nose job, when I got a nose job, where I got a nose job. And you guys, I've never gotten a nose job before. I've never considered getting a nose job before. I have not gotten a nose job before. This is my nose, the nose I was born with. This is it in all its glory. So I would be very, very upfront and honest with you guys if I did. If my nose happens to look different video to video, or maybe from my previous videos to my current videos, it might be the fact that I have lost weight. I don't know if you typically lose weight in your nose. Maybe I did. I know my face definitely looks a little smaller. So maybe that's why it looks like I got a nose job is just the ratio of nose to to face. But also keep in mind guys, lighting makes a difference. When I have makeup on, I typically highlight down the center of my nose. And when you highlight your nose, like the center of it, it kind of brings the center forward. That's the point of highlight is it brings that part to the light and it kind of recedes the other part. So that might play a part, like my nose highlighting. It's just a little funny to me that literally for years now, people have assumed I got a nose job. People come up with the craziest stories in their heads, but I think the more upfront and honest people can be with stuff like that, the less insecure it'll make other people. Does that make sense? It's like when people were using like insane face tuning and filters and stuff on their Instagram pictures and they wouldn't disclose that they were face tuning and using crazy filters and stuff. So it just made everybody else looking at the picture feel insecure because it's just like, oh dang, I'm never gonna have, you know, those kinds of legs or that kind of a butt or those skinny arms. And it was all face tune, but nobody wanted to admit that it was face tune. So it made everybody looking at the picture feel insecure. I don't like that. So I'm gonna be upfront and honest with you guys always. Anyways, that is what I really wanted to chat with you guys about in this video. Okay, looks like my camera's about to overheat now for one reason or another. So um, yeah, I guess I'm gonna go do some yoga and 
I'll talk to you guys soon. Good morning, everybody. So it is the next day. It is now Thursday morning at 10 o'clock. Yesterday just got away from me, you guys. I have some kind of exciting updates. Things I'll probably end up sharing in, you know, the next few vlogs. Oh my gosh. I don't I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. I'm just I feel like I'm cheesing. I like barely slept last night and <sighs> Today's a really good day. Without getting into too much detail, which I will do in a future vlog um, for you guys, but without getting into too much detail here, because I know this vlog is already pretty long, I just want to put in the message of trust in the timing of your life. I just feel like everything pans out the way it's supposed to. When you think that your entire world is crashing down at you at a single moment, it's so interesting when you're able to see the full picture because there's something else amazing brewing for you. And I 100% fully believe that. I mean, I, I literally experienced it firsthand within the past week or so. Yeah, I can't wait to share more with you guys. I will be sharing more uh, details soon, but I again, if nothing else, just trust in the timing of your life. You're only seeing the tunnel vision that's right in front of you. You're not seeing the whole picture that's being worked around. I'm making no sense. I'm in that kind of like dazed state because I'm working off, well, four hours of sleep and also I'm giddy as hell, you guys. I'm so happy right now. So anyways, um, I'm drinking coffee um, in my namaste in bed mug, even though I did not stay in bed. 